you know, when we first met Miranda, she was in her early 30s. Now, like the other women, she's in her mid-50s. Um, I think she's changed a lot. I'm not allowed to say too much about it, but I, I, I think it's safe to say she and Steve and Brady are still living in their house in Brooklyn. Brady is now a 17-year-old, and so Miranda and Steve are dealing with all that comes with that. And I also think I'm, I can say a tiny bit of which is uh, Miranda and the last, the last few years, I think really during the Trump era kind of had a, a bit of a political awakening and decided that corporate law was maybe not the, the last thing she wanted to do with her life and maybe there could be a new chapter for her. Life imitates art, right? <laughs> so, uh, well, let me ask, one of the things I loved about Sex in the City, which I, I did grow up with, is it really did challenge the stereotypes, I think, of, of certainly being a single woman in your 30s. Do you think that this is challenging some of the stereotypes of being a woman in your 50s? Yes, I mean, I think even by doing the show, I think we're challenging the notion, you know, that perhaps, you know, being in a woman in your 50s isn't interesting or isn't deserving of attention or, or won't engage people of all, of all ages. Um, yeah, I think, I think that, um, you know, at the time the show premiered, it's hard to remember that now it was so long ago, but people, there was a lot of pushback about this is sort of offensive and women being so frank about their sexuality and so pursuing of sexual partners and sexual experiences and, and to have the, you know, the next day brunch rehash of what happened and speaking about men so objectively. And there was a lot of, you know, people sniping that these weren't actually really women at all. These were gay men disguised as women. And I think very, very quickly we got over that, but that was the initial reaction. And I think in some of the press that we've seen leading up, of course, nobody has seen any of the, of the real show yet, but it's like, uh, yeah, do we really want to see these women in their in their mid fifties? Like, uh, they're too old. It's like, well, I, I I don't think we're too old, and you know, the audience. Although there is, although there's, I was oh, lamenting the fact that sex is not in the title anymore, but I I know for sure it'll be integrated into the plot. So I I, I look forward to that. Um, you know, I want to step back and talk about your own evolution a bit because. Um, Obviously, how have you changed? Um, one of the things I noticed when you were running for governor of New York, or running in the Democratic primary against Andrew Cuomo, you talked about um, leaning in to being a Miranda. What does that mean? How are you like her and how are you different? Um, well, you know, it was interesting when I first started to do the show and people would ask me how I'm like her and I would say, other than sort of being confident about my brain and leading with my brain, we, she and I really have almost nothing in common. You know, I was a mother at that point. I was in a long-term relationship. I was a very domestic person. Yes, I was focused on my career, but not to the extent that I was focused on kind of the more internal, you know, what we think of as sort of the the feminine uh, sphere. Mm. Um, and I think that, you know, I think I get, I gained some strength from Miranda and some confidence. And I think gradually as I played her for longer and longer, they allowed her to, to discover these things, to discover a long-term, you know, relationship, eventually get married, have a child, you know, not shy away from, from the domestic sphere and, and kind of balance it more with the incredible, um, still very alpha in, in the workplace. But I think, to, I think to be a Miranda really means you're very much a truth teller um, and you don't, you don't, you don't pull your punches. You, you, you confront and you, if you, if you think something is wrong, you, you speak out and you speak out quickly, perhaps sometimes a little too quickly. Um, and then, you know, Miranda's very, very feisty and very fiery and sometimes things get away from her a little too quickly and she has to backtrack and, and apologize sometimes. 